Sheriff, front page, top, times. Hoosiers have right to resist. Law protects <clears throat> against officers acting illegally. Governor Mitch Daniels has signed a law explicitly authorizing Hoosiers to physically resist police if officers are breaking the law. Here's what Mitch Daniels had to say. He says, contrary to some impressions, the bill actually strengthens the protection of Indiana law enforcement officers by narrowing the situations in which someone would be justified in using force. The right to resist law, your view of this. Uh, law enforcement, of course, has been uh, working vigorously with the Indiana legislature. When I talk about law enforcement, I'm talking uh, uh, the Fraternal Order of Police, our lobbyists, our, our state president, uh, the FOP, who happens to be my chief of police. He's made several trips down there trying to work on the language on that Senate Bill 1. Uh, he even met with the governor the other day. The governor called him into his office before he signed the bill and uh, to try to explain that why he's signing this bill. And in the, in the governor's opinion, it's, it's going to, uh, I don't know why, where, his, where his thoughts are coming from, but to increase the safety of an officer. Uh, our, our position is, is that, uh, uh, you know, the, how should I say, the, the opportunity to, for somebody, when somebody enters your home or something, this, you're leaving it up to that homeowner and, and don't get me wrong, from the get-go, I'm a strong proponent of the Fourth Amendment, you know, the legal search and seizure and that. But, uh, uh, you know, the the language, some of the language, it just gives us some, uh, it's vague. On, on You're the homeowner. Do you have the right to, you know, to shoot somebody that walks into your house? If you thought that they were trying to break into your home, uh, do you wait to identify, have them identify as law enforcement? There's so many, so many things, uh, you know, and uh, uh, I, I think that the, 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 the language could have been worked out a lot better had they sat down a little bit longer and, uh, and waited to, to you know, study this thing a little bit further. Linda Lawson, uh, at whom you know well, yes. former police officer here in Hammond, uh, she was fighting this, saying that uh, criminals are going to interpret this as open season on police officers. Do you agree? Uh, that, that, that could occur. I mean, yeah, you know, when uh, they could say, well, I thought they were, I didn't know they were the, they were the police, uh, so I fired. I shot at them and that sort of thing. They could hide behind uh, some, something like that. And, and I mean, this could, uh, again, I, I think they should have discussed this further, talked about it further. Do a little more research on this bill before they just ran into this thing, you know. 209-845-1100. If you'd like to talk to Lake County Sheriff John Bonsich, MX, you're on with the sheriff. How you doing, Sheriff? Good, good. How you doing? I know uh, right now you can't do it, but uh, when the swamps go down on Michigan Avenue between Kennedy and Klein on our nature preserve there, mm -hmm. I know we talked about a cleanup crew. If you could help us out there, and uh, I'd be more than willing to help you out. Yeah, I, I just uh, that gentleman just called uh, a couple calls ago. Uh, I've got just got, I've got that down here. No, no, he's talking. Uh, you're talking, talking a little bit. 179th over no, there. He's talking on Michigan, right? Yeah, Michigan Avenue. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Between Kennedy and Klein Avenue. Okay. It's on the south side of Michigan Avenue. That's our nature preserve. Gotcha. When you take a ride home. Uh, Look at that. Uh, I know you used to do that eight years ago. Right, and, right. And I commend you for that. All right. I write that down right now. We'll take care of business. There okay? you go. There's responsive government. 209-845-1100. Ryan, which one are we going to? Let's go to three, number three. Hey, George, you're on with the sheriff. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, Sheriff, I, getting back to the uh, uh, new legislation on the right to resist, I, I think, I think you know, you, you have a, an argument that there is some, risk but the risk runs both ways and i think what they've done is to favor ultimately the citizens because contrary to what linda lawson says is open season she claims on police we the people sometimes feel it's open season on the people if you don't do anything about it that anybody come busting through your door and there isn't a damn thing you can do about it right there's, there's arguments on both sides right. and so you know. i think i think what the legislature has done is just say okay maybe they've tried to restrict it vis-a-vis -vis the language and and just say hey ultimately you know, uh, it's the people that are that are the ultimate or primary interest here. And mm -hmm. I'm just, you know, uh, I well, just want to get your thoughts on and that. And like I said, I'm all, you know, a uh, proponent of the Fourth Amendment rights. And I think that my position is I think they should have discussed this more, worked it out more, both sides, the law enforcement, 
the legislators, uh, the legal eagles, everybody get together on this thing instead of trying to, uh, you know, uh, ramrod this thing through that fast and everything. I think they should have taken a little more time. Well, sure. If you, you, a, if you read that, if you read that case, that Barnes case, that language was outrageous. Right. Right. Exactly. You know, I just. But uh, again, I, I think there should have been a little bit more discussion on this. What do you think is going to happen, George? How are the criminals going to uh, interpret this? Well, you know, you know, you it says, you know, it really reflects basically a little more, uh, a little more elaborately the the Fourth Amendment provision on only unreasonable searches and, and unreasonable seizures. So, you know, if you want to take your, you know, the cops have a right of self-defense too. So mm -hmm. it isn't like they you can just sit there and go, ah, I can do this. You better have some grounds. I think what it does, what it may mess around with, is a burden of proof. Who has to, who has to bring the case and the, you know, there make you your go. case. So. Right, right. All right, man. Thanks a lot. Thank All you, right. George.